Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now a few days ago we took a look at the 10 year old ATI 2600 XT and found that for the £1.20 or $1.50 price tag it performed pretty well with older games. Today we found it a $5 competitor. This is the 7900 GS, a card that I found for £4 or $4.91 on a local Facebook selling site. On paper this card is 16% faster than the ATI, but how does it stack up and was it worth the whopping price tag? Let's find out. Spec wise, here are the differences. You'll notice the Nvidia card is clocked lower at 450MHz, has older GDDR3 memory and is almost a year older with just 20 pixel shady units compared to 120. Team Green's offering also only supports DX9. Mid last decade, both of these made pretty good mid range solutions at $150 for the ATI and $200 for the Nvidia. And although today you can find them for significantly less, there's a lot of money on the table here about 650 pennies worth of GPU. So let's get into the games Fallout 3 first. And the 7900 GS at 720p with medium settings returns a rather stuttery 30 to 40 frames per second. The game is still playable, and the first time I played this was on Xbox 360 at 30 FPS, way back when it first came out, so I'm more than used to it. I'll let you off here, 7900 GS, but just know that the 2600 XT blew you out of the water, with frame rates hovering around the 80s on some occasions. An impressive result. Next up it's Team Fortress 2. With the same resolution and the lowest settings, the 7900 hovered around 80 after we worked out all the differences and determined an average, although it did go above 100 at some points in the game. Not too bad, but along came the 2600 XT again and we saw averages of 140 which was again rather a surprising result. Not the frame rate itself, but the differences between the two cards. Finally, we have CSGO. When we factor in both the indoor and outdoor gameplay, our average came back at 45 frames per second for the 7900 GS. An okay result and a playable one too. Again, last week's contender proved victorious though, almost doubling the efforts to achieve 85 here on the same map running a bot match. There we have it. The $1.50 GPU still reigns supreme. What will it take to beat it? $6? $10? Who knows? But if you're looking for a capable GPU for an old school gaming PC, the 2600 XT is a fantastic choice, but the 7900 GS really isn't that bad either. And if you're wondering why we didn't compare Crisis or Bioshock this time, it's because they crashed with the Nvidia card. Not to mention that it only supports DX9 which may prove a limiting factor and even if an older PC build for older games is more your thing it's probably a good idea to opt for something DirectX 10 or above although I did have a lot of fun with the 7900 GS today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought this comparison would be a little bit of fun. I can't believe I spent a massive sum of £4 on this graphics card. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Let me know your thoughts on the card. If you didn't enjoy this video, leave a dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next video.